Ah, it's like we never left. I don't want to hear anything. We back. Yo, is the plan Devon F. Scott here. Today we're talking about some embarrassing moments. So I know you had some embarrassing moments. I had some too and I shared them with you today. And I just want to preface this by saying most of my embarrassing stories start with me holding up a shit. Like the chances are if you see me in public 24-7, I holding up a shit. So if you see me and you say, yo Devon, you shit for the day, my answer will probably be yes, but I still need to shit again and... I just, I just feel like I need to see that. All right, jumping into the first story. So I was working in the gym at the time. I was working in front desk and like usual, I catch my daily shit. Went in the toilet and do as I usually do. Use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat on the company time because why not? Finish what I'm doing, wash my hand. I think is I had a lot of friends in the gym. Although I don't work out, but I had a lot of friends who used to work out in the gym. So I leave the toilet, pumping outside, see my partner. So yo, is this scene, bro? Stand up, talk, vibes, laugh. Went by an ex-partner, stand up, talk, vibes, laugh. Walk down the step. And I reached down the step back to go by the front desk. Ellie stopped me. I was like, yo, where's that behind your pants? Dog. It's not what you think, it's not what you think. It. But a nice long toilet paper tail hanging on the back of my pants, dog. And the oh shit moment. I can't describe to you what the oh shit moment is. Feel like in your face, dog, but it wasn't nice, it wasn't nice. But rest assured, every time I go to the toilet in public, I'll be like, <coughs> making sure I don't have a toilet paper tail because I'm not going to do that again, dog. Next up, I was actually in Gulf City Mall. I was feeling to eat a, a shrimp roti from that place in the food court. I can't remember the name of the place. And I was hungry and I was like, boy, I was like, I'm pumping down now. I can't wait to mash up this shrimp roti, dog. Jump on the escalator. I don't know if you know where Digicel is in Gulf City Mall. Like on the left, I'd have the escalator in the middle. So as I'm on the escalator, I'm pumping down and I hear, oh, that one from the top of the escalator. And I, so I spin around. I see my partner. I was like, hey, Where's this scene, dog? So instead of like a normal human being going down the escalator and coming back up, I decide somehow I bad enough to run up the down escalator. So that's exactly what I proceed to do. And the first step, as a man forget the escalator, has got a constant speed and I try to run faster than the escalator coming down. The first step, you see this part of your foot right here? That part, your shin bone. Dog, the corner of the escalator on that shin bone dog. I feel like I black out for a few seconds when I hit it dog. When I get back up, I don't know why I didn't just quit. My first instinct is I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna do this again. Proceed to do it again, fall, hit my foot again, and this time was actually worse. When I get up, the whole mall watching me because this big fat man on the escalator make a big scene. When I look at my friend, he had the most disappointing look on his face, boy. He was like, You're really my partner, boy. Like, I can't see that's what he was thinking. He's like, You're really my partner, dog. Your fat ass so has be associated myself with. Oh, it's not a nice feeling, dog. It's... So I remember the days when men could go and vibes and lime and chill and thing away before this whole COVID thing and I was lime with some of my partners in Extra Plaza and I don't know if you know Extra Plaza like the side that face in the highway have like a, a good two or three feet drop I don't know how high it is but it's a, it's a proper drop and I stand up on the edge of that drop with my food on my car truck chilling and somebody come up to me and I was like yo Devon where's the plan dog I was watching a video and stuff and you know good stuff and I said I'm feeling bite up now dog this man is watching my videos and things so I, I trying to play bad and I was like yeah boy dog boy thanks boy I appreciate it boy while I trying to be cool I decide to step back now boy the moment my foot realized I don't have ground in the back there it's like a stop freeze I was like oh shit and I went down dog I tried to save it I land on my knee I tried to save it it hurt good thing my friends was there to come out I was like yo you're good bro you're good take like seven of them to pick me up because Kinda lie. I, I lie, I give up for myself. I give, it wasn't a bad fall, it was just embarrassing. Whoever was working Starbucks that day, dog, if they get the CCTV footage, that would probably be a viral clip. So if you're following me for a while, you know as a man, like my car and I like my rims and things, I just changed my rims and things, I had a job to do. And I went, the job was on the avenue. So the thing is, I could drive, I could drive. I just car parallel park too good though. And I, was, <laughs> I was on the avenue and I was trying to parallel park. But I was always be so scared like the back rim touched the curb now. So as I'm taking my time and I lock in and I lock in and I'm watching the rear view mirror and I'm watching the side mirror and I'm watching my rims and things and I was like, a, 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 a dog, I went forward, back, forward, back. I try and all how to make sure the rims not touch. Until I say, you know what, dog? This not worth my time. And nobody in the world seeing this right now. So I just go and quit and make the block and find the next park. So I make the block, I park like one street down. And I, I, I jump out my camera and thing. And I walk in. I feel bad now, but nobody know what I do. I pump in, pump in, pump in. When I reach in the place and I set up my camera and stuff. Bling! Pull out my phone. Watch it. I see a DM. A man send me. <laughs> I want to send my video of me trying to park dog on the avenue. I think the caption was like, dog, you okay? I see you trying to park back. It wasn't getting you know, dog. Did somebody ever break your spirit, dog. <laughs> that message break my spirit, was it? It break my heart, dog. I can't remember who it was messaging. My heart on my left side. Sorry, I don't can't remember who it was messaging my dog, but I don't like you. The last one, dog. The best for last, dog. The best for last. So again, I was in traffic and obviously I catch a shit because what else would Devon do in traffic besides catch a shit? So I was like, you know what? I want to stop off. Uh, for some reason, Extra Plaza Starbucks is like this sweet spot to stop off and shit because like between South and Port of Spain. So I was like, all right, cool. Well, I, I, I should mention I was probably he I was heading Port of Spain. So I stopped off Starbucks, Extra Plaza and dog jump. It 
turtling. It tur- I'm not- I'm not even shitting with your dog. No pun intended. It turtling dogs are running. Boss open the door dog. Walk by turn as I hit the door to go in. It just went gluck. Cause it was a lock. Cause somebody was inside. Turtling. I'm a belly gripe. And I was like, alright, what to do here? So I was like, well, I'll play cool. If I play cool, nobody would know I need to shit. There was like me and two other people in Star Wars. And I just stand up there dog. I was like, alright, let me go buy a drink and try to seem like a normal human being. So I went, about all this time, I clenched in my Cheeks, eh? I went and I buy my drink. I was like, alright, cool. I'm just gonna play it cool. Drink my drink. As soon as I see the man leave the toilet, I'll fly in the toilet. So I stand up, grab my drink, I'm drinking. As soon as I see the man come out of the toilet, dog, I rest my drink on Starbucks counter. I didn't even care. And I straight for the toilet, dog. As I walk in the toilet and I watch the toilet paper, I think it had no toilet paper. And my heart sank to my stomach, dog. I was shit. I must up every ounce of courage. I have to tell the Starbucks who. I was like, dog, um, I don't think the toilet have any toilet paper, boy. The man was like, yeah, yeah, it have. Just check. Shit. Went back in the toilet. I check again and make sure I don't have none. I went back again. I was like, yo, I check, but I don't think I have any. He's like, alright, cool. Sorry, brother. Come on to change it now. At this point, no one in Starbucks. It's just me and the workers. So I was like, alright, cool. If things stay like this, I'll just wait for the worker to change the toilet paper and I just take my shit and box out. I don't need to have no shame. Before the man changed the toilet paper, ah, shit, you're not dog, no pun intended. I gave like four or five people walking in Starbucks to buy drinks. Uh, and my heart started to go doop 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 Because I don't know how I'm going to handle this. Because I need this shit now, boy. I need this shit. I had no toilet paper. And I started my heart go doop 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 And your boy who work in Starbucks, walk out from the toilet. Four or five people in the line. I watch me and ball. I was a few feet apart, so he voice was kinda of alone. He's like, yo bro, I changed the toilet paper for you, dog. The toilet they're free now. Dog. I don't, my, my face swallow itself, dog. Your face about swallow itself. I feel like the back of my ears come and swallow the front of my head, dog. Like, I never feel that kind of shame in my life. I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody in Starbucks had care because everybody is shit, dog. If you do shit, something wrong to you. But it's the shame, dog. It's like, they know that I was waiting. They sound up to shit. They know that I had no toilet paper. They know that the man changed the toilet paper for me. They know that I go into shit right now. And, dog. I mean, I went and I take my shirt and I leave, but it was real shame. It was real embarrassing. But I mean, that's as much as... I, mean, I don't think I ever gave over that one, boy. But that's as much embarrassing stories as I have here today. If you have any embarrassing stories, leave them below in the comments. I don't want to feel embarrassed alone. I don't what it went through, so be sure to leave it in the comments. I want to laugh at you, because you laughing at me this entire video. I want to laugh at you! Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me everywhere at Devon X, Scott, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and try, try, try to follow Instagram first, because I'm trying to hit 10K. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you all in the next one.